What's up guys, Switchy here, back with another tutorial in the Arc Server Manager series. I hope you guys are having a good day. I'm having a really good day hanging out here, messing around with the old Arc Manager, trying to figure some things out and hopefully help you guys out along the way. So today I want to go over um, basically just the map spawner overrides. Now, <laughs> wait, no, come back, come back. Um, so the map spawner overrides, now these these are a little bit tricky. They're not bad, but they're a little bit tricky. And I was actually gonna go over these with one of the mods that I have installed, um, which is the Monsters Evolved. Uh, but the actual, the mod author actually added um, spawners in for that mod, so we can't do it with that. Uh, but yeah, so basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down here to this map spawner override area, and we're going to say that we don't wanna override, we just wanna add. All right, now you can add, subtract, or override. I just want to add. I want to add a dino into the island somewhere. Now, these are kind of interesting. You can see they're marked to the island. These are all spawning locations, right? And there's a good many of them for the island. Um, and they're, they're not exactly 100% clear. I mean, some of them are easy. Redwood water water around the redwoods, right, you know, um, but, you know, I mean, you see you got dark water, dark water, dark water, dark water, like, I guess it's where the pleasies spawn, the mosses spawn, and things of that nature, deep water, well, what's the difference between the deep water and the dark water, I'm not really sure, uh, swamp's pretty self-explanatory, you know, beach, I'm pretty sure that's just all beach areas, but I haven't been able to nail that one down 100% either, uh, what we're going to do is we are going to pick one that we are 100% sure about. So, I mean, we could pick the Redwoods. Yep, Redwoods. Could pick this one. And that one we would be 100% sure about. Snow, we would be 100% sure of that as well. Um, swamp, we would should be 100% sure of, but not going to go there. What I'm looking for is Carno Island, which on the... Uh, in the grand scheme of things, in here is called Monster Island, I believe. Let's see here. Do 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 do. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Monster Island. So that is Carno Island. I know that because I have spawned things there before. All right. So right now we're going to add a dinosaur to the Monster Island spawns, which is Carno Island. We're going to go ahead and click Add Entries. Uh, we are going to pick a dino that doesn't normally spawn there, and th there's something that I really want to test. I really, really want to test, but I don't know. It doesn't look like I'm going to be able to test it. Nope, doesn't look like I can have waverins, wyverns, whateverins. Um, which I wonder why, because... I can have yetis. I can have vultures, and vultures don't normally spawn there. Hmm. I thought I saw it on the list before. So that's kind of weird. Now, if you're using a mod that does not have, um, that does not self-populate in here, you just got to find whatever the, um, basically spawn code for that creature is and add it here. So if it were like uh, BP underscore big ugly monster underscore C, you would add that here and then that would be used as its uh, used as its spawn. Hmm. So yeah, I'm a little I'm a little curious as to why some things like vultures are on here and other things are not. Waterbug jug, yetis. So what are we going to pick? Oh, I don't even know. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and pick thorny dragons. Just out of curiosity to see if a... Um, to see if a scorched earth dino will work. Now the weights and the percentages are kind of funny on this one as well. Um... It's the weight factor for this spawn and sets the maximum allowed dinosaurs or creatures for this instance. If I leave this at one on one for Carno Island, they are going to be overrunning everything. 
So just for the sake of argument, I am going to go ahead and move that down to 0 0.5 and move that to 0 0.005, all right? Now these numbers you guys are gonna have to play with, it's gonna take a little bit of time to find, you know, because every single spawner is a little bit different, uh, if that makes any sense. Like not a whole lot of creatures spawn on Carno Island, so if you make the weight really high and you make the max percentage really high, then they overrun things. So that's one thing they are. So what we're gonna go ahead and just call this uh, thorny. And then what else are we going to pick out of this list here that doesn't normally spawn there? Uh, we want something vish. Oh, poison. Okay, so they're, they're actually named not exactly what I was thinking. So we're going to go ahead and add the poison wavering. And we're going to change those as well. And let's go ahead and add one more that is definitely an island creature. Oh, let's see here. Definitely an island creature. Definitely something that is not normally spawning there, but I kind of want to make sure it's something that would fit there, right? Well, let's see here. Hmm. <laughs> Not really sure what what could be there and would protect itself rather well. We know that Arjuns definitely spawn there. Let's do Allosauruses. We'll do Allosauruses. Allo. And again, like I said, these numbers. You guys will have to. What the heck am I doing? You guys will have to play with them you know, and adjust them as you need them. So that's what we got right now. We've got this add to this spawner, these three things, and we are going to save it. And while that is saving, we are going to double check something. Right now we are on the island, we are on shooter game, saved, config, Windows server, game I and I, we wanna edit that. Oop, and we wanna come down here and see this stuff. What do we got here? Dino entries the island, C, right? We got the thorny, and we got the spiny lizard underscore character underscore BP underscore C. So you can see, like, things don't name wise don't necessarily line up with what you would expect. I'm guessing spiny lizard was probably the original name that they had come up with for that, but uh, I'm not really sure. Oh, and this is still from our uh, supply crate overrides. All right, so yeah, you can see, come, uh, jumpy, hello, jumpy, uh huh. There we go. So you see the aloe character, uh, and the poison wavering. All right, so yeah, it looks like everything got saved in. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start the server, right? And I am going to hop on to the server and see about getting over to Carno Island and verifying that these things actually worked. So I will see you guys in a bit. All right guys, we made it to Carno Island. I did not do a dino wipe though, so I don't know exactly how this is gonna go. <laughs> Thinking ahead, score one for me. Um, and when I say score one for me, I mean I'm an idiot. But, whoa. Hello Sharky, what's up man, what's up? Level three. So yeah, I'm not sure, I might have to make some rounds. <laughs> I might have to make some rounds and kill some things, or try to with this pitifully low level Pteranodon that I have uh, before they will spawn. So we'll see, I'm gonna make a loop here. We're gonna see what we can see and go from there. Okay, so we got Carnos, definitely. Definitely got Carnos. Which makes sense for Carno Island. This guy is gonna die. Oh yeah. Gonna die. Alright. So yeah, we're not gonna mess around with those guys. He is super low. 
I have to find, hopefully, a way to... I mean, I might have to do a Dino Wipe before we can tell for sure. Because I'm not going to be able to kill anything. But so far, nothing uh, nothing that we added is showing up. Oh, wait. Hello. You know, you just get done saying something of that nature, and... Badoom. We got us a Poison Wavering on Carno Island. Nice. Alright. So that's, that's one, right? At least one. Let's go ahead and make another round trip here. And keep an eye open for that Wavering. Because we don't... <laughs> we are not fast enough to outrun a Wavering, I don't think. And we're definitely not strong enough to kill one. That is a good sign. He is there. Or she. Might be a she. Is she? E. E is there. So that is a good sign, at least. We got one thing going on for us. Up oh, there's a thorny dragon. So that's another thing that is definitely going to be spawning here now. And if I could remember what the third thing that I programmed in was, it would be helpful. There's another poison waver. Now you see, like, that's already two. Alright, so there's definitely, um... You definitely want to balance some stuff. Definitely want to balance some stuff. Alright, so what was the third thing we added? <laughs> no. Don't you come close to me. The third thing that we added... I mean, seriously, it was... Whoa! No, no, no! No, no, no! I said don't come close to me! Oh, my. <laughs> okay, we are just fast enough to outrun that. Holy crap. Alright, so, yeah. That was fun and exciting and new and scary. All at the same time. Not that it matters, because this is just a, like I said, a test server, so it's not particularly important to stay alive. But I like to live, you know? It's one of those things. So yeah, we got two of the three that we programmed in. I might have to do a quick look and see what the other one we programmed in actually is. Because, sadly enough, evidently, my memory, um, stinks. Just saying. Just saying. There should definitely be enough death going on to spawn other things. <laughs> wow, that is three now. Okay, so we definitely know that, uh, that those guys would need, like, turned down a bit. Just a bit. You know, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Because they are spawning mad. Alright. Alright, so we got thorny dragons and we got dragons, uh, waverins, poison waverins in general. Uh huh. Thorny, thorny. But it looks like the third one's being a little bit moody, because I don't see anything out of the ordinary here. As of yet. Other than, of course, the things that we added. So... There are poison waverins everywhere. Everywhere, I say. Do I get anyone's attention? No. Good. Alright. Alright. So, yeah. I mean, I'm thinking we can call it a success. You know? But just in case. Just in case. 
I'm, yeah. I'm gonna check on something real quick, and I'll bring you guys right back. Alright, guys, we're back, and I think I may have it figured out. Um, I went back, I exited out of the server, went back to my Arc Server Manager screen, uh, looked at it, and, ev oh, and right there they are. So, yeah, that's figured out. Uh, so, yeah, I went back and checked my settings in Arc Server Manager, and like a dummy, I, uh, I didn't set all three of the new creatures at the same, uh, weight. So basically what I did was I put the Allosauruses at level, or not level, but weight of .05 instead of .5, so it was going to take them a lot longer to actually spawn on the island. Um, now, like I said before, you can see, I mean, it spawned a lot of Waverns. You'd want to turn that way down, probably. It's it's uh, spawned a good many of the thorny dragons, and now it's going to spawn a good many of the um, allosauruses as well. So, again, and that's just on the uh, on the island, on Carno Island. So, if you were to use those same numbers somewhere else, like the grasslands, it may not overpopulate as much. You figure the grasslands have a lot more creatures spawning. Um, as far as variety goes and, you know, things of that nature. But I can tell you that, from what I can tell, um, the snow, redwood, and Carno Island areas, it's pretty much, you want your max to be, yeah, somewhere in the .001 range, um, and really, probably the same with your, uh, probably the same with your weight. Um, when we were doing, when I, when I first added the Monster Hunter mod to a server to play around with it, and I was trying to get the, mm, creatures to spawn in, uh, yeah, I completely overran, um, a lot of the areas, and when I did lower those numbers down in, it seemed more like a natural spawn rate. Uh, so, I mean, that's something that you guys will have to play with and experiment with, and, you know, get it to a level that you're comfortable with. Um, you know, if you want, like, an insane amount of something to spawn, then keep the numbers high, guys. And if you don't, then, you know, drop them down kind of low. And then if you find things, you know, drop them down to the point zero zero one point zero zero one area. And then if you find that things aren't spawning um, as heavily as you would like, slowly raise those numbers up. Until you get to a better um, mixture for what you're trying to do on your servers. For me, I like to keep things kind of even. Um, like right now, Carno Island <laughs> is not at all where I would like it to be. Uh, if I were going to play on this server on a regular basis, those numbers would be dropped way down. I don't want that much stuff spawn in there, you know? But... If you are different and you would like to keep things like massively spawning there, then keep the numbers high and see where it goes. But guys, I'm going to head back to old uh, Herbivore Island here. This is kind of my, my testing grounds, um, from, you know, my home away from home on my on this testing server. So I'm heading back there. So let me go ahead and say thank you guys very much for checking out the video. I hope you found it helpful. Uh, if you did find it helpful, consider hitting uh, that like button for me or subscribing to the channel if you have not done so already. If you guys have any comments, questions, concerns, or complaints, please leave them in the comments section below. I try to uh, do my best on getting back to people when they have questions about the server setup. And if it's something I don't know, I try to research it for them, but you know, I mean, nobody's perfect. I can't, I can't help everyone. I wish I could, but I can't help everyone. Uh, there are some problems that come down to ISP slash, you know, um, router issues uh, and stuff like that. But, anywho, uh, like I said, man, if you guys, or like I have said before, if you guys know somebody who is looking to do this particular thing and you think they might find the video helpful, consider sharing the video for me. It'd be greatly appreciated. And as always, guys, I hope to see you next time.